Hello, in this presentation we will print and export reports to Excel within QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you've been continuing with us, we will be continuing with the Get Great Guitars problem. If you have access to the backup, you can restore the backup at the File dropdown and Restore. We're going to open the Open Windows tab or section or list by selecting the View tab on the dropdown and selecting the Open Window list. That given us the open windows. I've closed everything only to have the home tab open within the open windows. In order to get to the home tab, we go to the company drop down and home page. We will take a look at some of the printing options and the export options for some of the major reports, starting with the balance sheet. So we'll take a look at the drop down up top. We're going to go down to the company and financial and scroll down to the balance sheet. Going to change the date to 123121, so December 31st, 2021. We then have our balance sheet here, and we're just going to take a look at some of the printing options within the balance sheet. There's a few different ways we could get to the printing options. We have the print icon here in the short list, so we can uh, print the report or print as a PDF and, and use that option to print it as a PDF. We can also have the print option from the file dropdown. If we're used to seeing the print option in the file dropdown, we have the print report and print as a PDF. So if we select one of those items, we're going to select the print option here and print report. We have here what might be a familiar layout to many people that have used uh, Microsoft Office products, some of the Office products looking similar to this in terms of the printing future. We have the settings, we could choose the printer that we have. So if we drop down, we can see the different printers that are set up. Here's my main printer. If the PDF writer is not working for whatever reason, or sometimes when you have a different report, uh, it doesn't have that print to PDF option. If you have a PDF printer, such as a uh, the cute PDF printer writer, which I believe is free, then uh, you can actually print to a PDF file. And that can be really useful within QuickBooks and with other softwares as well. Uh, we have the the layout we can have it portrait which the balance sheet typically would be or landscape and this is going to be a great option if the report doesn't fit on one page uh, wide in terms of columns we can change it to landscape and have it fit on the one page uh, the range of the reports we can choose uh, a range here so having pages from one page to another page rather than the entire port really useful when we're doing a long report such as a general ledger type report uh, we have the page breaks option, and then we've got the fit reports to one page wide or one page high. This first one in particular is going to be really useful because if, if the report doesn't fit on one page wide, as many reports will not, then we could force it to do so uh, with this option without, um, otherwise we'd have to kind of manipulate the cells in order to get it to uh, to fit to that to that to those dimensions. We then have the margins tab over here and that'll give us some margins options to uh, adjust the margins on the document. Going back to the settings tab, we have the preview option here. So if we look at the preview, this is what it should look like when we print this out. Uh, the top of this has the options here. So print, zoom, and the close option. So I'm gonna close that back out. And those are going to be the main printing options. So I'm going to close this back out. I'm going to choose one other report, one that might have a few more columns that we might want to adjust with. We're going to go to reports on the dropdown. We'll go to customers and receivables. And we will go to the um, see, customer balance detail report. And this one's going to be a little bit wider. It's probably still going to fit on one page, but I'm just going to show the how we can adjust this in terms of the landscaping and adjust it to fitting on one page and use some of those options within the print feature. So if we go back up to the print reports here and we go to report and we, we take a look at the preview. We can jump back and forth from the preview and now it does print on one page wide here so if this was if this was going to another column then that's something we would want to adjust for sure if i close this back out and close this and let's assume for whatever reason we had this these columns very wide <laughs> and 
I'm just going to make these wide columns for demonstration purposes. And then if we go to the print option up top and print report, and then go to the preview, you'll note that some of the columns are not on the same page. Now what we could do, what we should do, I'm going to close this back out, is go back to the report and adjust the columns. That's going to be the best way to do it so it doesn't distort the size of the report. But we could also go to this fit, uh, fit report to one, or we can first try to print it landscape. That's what we should do first. Print it landscape, then check the preview. And then if it still doesn't do it, it's still not quite there. We still got these other columns on the other side. I'm scrolling through this report. Then I'm going to close this back out and use the other option, which says fit report to one page is wide. Fit to one page wide and then preview and now we have it on one page now of course the text is quite small here and what we would like to do is avoid that by adjusting the columns first but before using this option as a last resort i'm going to close this back out so those are going to be the printing options we can also have the exporting options that's what we're going to use a lot here so we're going to use the exporting options here uh, saving the documents to uh, or exporting them to an Excel sheet. Just remember when you look at the print options, we can print it to a printer. We have the option to print as a PDF file, which can be very useful. And if we don't have that option on some reports that you can print uh, to a PDF still if you have a PDF printer. So meaning if you go to reports and you have a cute PDF printer, for example, which is a free PDF printer, you can download then you could still print as a PDF very useful option next thing we're going to do is export this report to Excel so this is going to be this icon right here this is going to be very useful we can export to a current workbook or we can export to a new workbook uh, we're going to make a new workbook and put this uh, sheet to it so we're going to select the Excel and create a new worksheet and it will then open up this option create a new worksheet do we want it in a new workbook or an existing workbook we will choose a new workbook this time and we're going to go ahead and export that should open excel should export this and create a new tab with that information on it here it is a couple things when we look at the report here the thing that's great about a report here is that we can then have different tabs and we can export to the same a notebook as we will do when we go through these problems and it's going to be really useful to have that because then you can really keep all your data in one section and you can you can actually email it with one report rather than 10 PDF reports you can put it all on one Excel document uh, you can print the whole Excel document as PDF forms if you'd like to do that uh, format as well so it is a really useful feature to have a couple little things that uh, it does when you do export to Excel Note, if we look at the formulas here, uh, we have the, the number format here. If you go to the totals, it actually does total up the cells for you. So we are actually using a formula. So if you were to change any of these numbers, you can change them. And again, very nice feature because it's really useful sometimes to want to change the numbers to put them in a different format. Uh, within Excel, we have more ability to do some estimates or work with some numbers and some projections, whatnot outside of Excel and we can just export the data and uh, and do what we need to do with it and so that's a really useful feature so it is summing up here and the other options that are kind of unusual so it's got the split feature on when we automatically export it meaning if I scroll down I got the split screen there and I've got this split screen when I go this way so those cells stay the same in other words uh, so I'm gonna I usually turn that off because it does some funny things from time to time when we go you know try to print these reports to turn that off we go to the view tab we go to the Windows group and we select the split so I'm gonna unsplit the screen and that removes the split here we can also name the worksheet we can just call it balance sheet here and note that the, we may not see the header we don't see the header right now uh, but there is a header we can go to the, if we go to this little icon here which is called the page layout icon we can then scroll up and see that the header is there so when we print it it's just that it's in the header section that's why we can't see it in the normal view 
going back to the normal view we see the Excel sheet same kind of printer options this one fits on one page wide so we're okay but if it had not then we can adjust it to landscape and um, and do all those kind of printing options to make it an optimal printing process I'm gonna go ahead and save this now I'm gonna say file save as browse we'll go to our uh, desktop I'm gonna make a folder on the desktop and call it get great guitars problem put it in section one and I'm just gonna call it section one reports so I'll save that there I'm gonna say yes it's gonna be macro free and that'll be that we'll close that out and so that's going to be how you, you save reports and some of the printing options we will be using as we work through this problem.